Everybody's expected a good fight tonight. Mickey Ward starts oh. off with a left hook upstairs, not the trademark punch. That one goes to the ribs, but perhaps a reminder to Gaddy, I'll throw it up here too. Gaddy's take on how to fight Mickey Ward, who is a body puncher, to him in the rib cage too. And I think he's going to do that too. But one thing big sure. left hook. Mickey's not going to get behind on points in this fight in case he gets stopped on an accidental injury. Gaddy's been all over the scale, 130, 135, up to 147. Now back to 140. I think he may finally be fighting Emmanuel at his most effective weight. Yes, and he shows combination punching skill there. And there's a cut on the very natural. The fighters who have customarily give Gaddy trouble have jabs. And we haven't seen any jabs or many jabs. Trainer Buddy McGirt in particular were telling him, you've got too much power for Mickey. He's not used to facing power like yours. At this stage, he's got a little bit of too much of everything. Started to say, I think it's the speed more than the power. The speed, and, and he's shooting uppercuts, left hooks, right hands over the shoulder, a variety of things. Mike Body punches. numbers are two out through 70 punches in round one. He's going to wind up throwing more than 70 at this rate. Actually, a good cut man takes two rounds before the blood really coagulates. Hard left hook by Artura Gatti. Gatti landing a lot of punches cleanly and sharply. Could get it in there. And he's getting closer and closer now. What Gaddy's people have been most concerned about is just this kind of stuff that will keep Ward in the fight long enough to if bust up yes. Gaddy. Yep, and here, yeah, comes right the, here comes the Lowell, Massachusetts contingent rising to the occasion for their fighter. Yeah, and here's yeah. Gaddy with some of that. I'll give it yes. to the body medicine. Now the fighters turn out to be what we expected. So much for the boxing. They're standing up in round three. Maybe that by those body punches slowed Gaddy down a little bit. And now he's trying to slow Ward down with body punches too. Good sharp left hook upstairs by Gaddy. Uppercuts for Arturo. Ward's cut opening again. Ward has got to keep it in tight like that. It's right, predicted that he would be the boxer. Gaddy's left eye beginning to swell. No blood yet. Gaddy's left eye swells in virtually every fight. That's because of those high cheekbones that he has. He's going to resort back to what he's been doing most of his career, and that's to punch. Gaddy to the body. Gaddy with uppercut. Oh, right hand. Oh, this is good stuff. Looks like there's blood coming now from Ward's mouth. But we saw Ward in those type of fights. You remember the fight with Emmanuel Burton, so this is just one of his normal fights. Fight of the year for 2001. Ward Burton broke a lot of confidence. Oh, oh, that's another right hand fight. Mickey Ward. Gaddy takes this one a little better, but he's been rocked in this round. Oh, big left hook by Ward. Big left hook by Gaddy. Been the right hand now, more so than the body punch. Cappuccino didn't hesitate at all. He was sure of what he'd seen. Now, he's got five minutes to the end of the round. They've sounded a bell to end the round. Keep doing it. You know what's happening. Okay. Five, no, yeah. no, no, no. Absolutely not. One minute rest period. Let's this take a look and see if the blow was low. Yes, it was. Yep. That's how we saw it. Arturo Gatti's skillful efforts to make it a boxing match in the early rounds. Oh, look 
at the granite and warts in as he takes three plus power shots. But he doesn't return fire until Gaddy is finished, which invites Gaddy to keep going. Emmanuel, how discouraging is it to Arturo to have landed the kind of bombs he's landed? It's got to because he's treading full force on those shots. He's been seriously hurt yet. And the only one to me that's been hurt has been Gaddy. He's got him with that short right hand. Absolutely. Another short right hand by Ward again. We're about halfway through the round right now. We've lost our round clock. About a minute and a half to go in the round now. Blood begins to flow from above Ward's right eye again. But look at the distance oh. between the two fighters. This is oh. becoming Mickey Ward's fight. They're fighting in a phone booth, and that's the way he wants it. You know, this is reminiscent of a fight many years back since we're speaking of the 50s between a guy named Colin Basilio and Tony DeMarco. Basilio, one of the fighters I mentioned at the beginning of the night. Yes. You know, you could take those white trunks off and put one pair of white and one pair of black on, and we could go all the way back to the 50s. This bout is scheduled for 10. Well, I'll tell you what, the fans are going to get 12 rounds of action out of 10 rounds tonight. No, they're going to get 15 or rounds. More. Oh, look at that. Look at that combination. And Arturo, oh, and his right eye is bleeding. Yeah. The blood begins. Oh, and he's loaded up every punch. A tremendous rally by Mickey Ward. And the timekeeper can't seem to get it straight when to ring the bell. So you think that Ward is about to give. Now here Ward's coming back. And I didn't think that Gaddy was expecting to throw that many punches, especially the short punches that he's shooting. Never before. And that's just as dangerous as the left hook to the body is at this point in the fight. Oh, what a haymaker by Gaddy. And Ward just comes right back. Business as usual. Big left hook by Gaddy. Ward says, I'll walk with you over here. Relentless. But Gaddy is fighting a good round here. He's winning this round big. He's, he's gone back to some movement, throwing combinations, trying to move away, standing and fighting, moving again, trying to move his upper body. And Joe Souza did such great work that I see no blood on Gaddy's right eye. Ward pounds it. Where to go, Harold? How do you have it? Okay, Jim. Four rounds to two. 57-56. Arturo Gaddy. Jim, uh, Mickey Ward gets an extra point in the fourth round because Frank Cappuccino took away a point for a low blow. It may be crucial at the end of this fight. Round five, I thought Mickey Ward pulled out because sometimes what you do in the last 30 seconds is just an accumulation of what... Ward pops back Gaddy again with that right hand. I wonder what, what, what kind of brains are head to both of these guys. I mean, they get him with punches right on the chin, and it seems like it just stimulates him. Well, it's another right hand again, and he comes right back. Big yeah. counter left hook by Gaddy there. As one step Get behind. Come on, come on. Ward has turned southpaw here at the end of the round. Like a young fighter, just totally amazing to me. And those wars you saw in the ring, he had some equally vicious wars with the champagne bottle and the nightlife oh, on yes. the circuit in New Jersey. You know, but he's gone <laughs> up because most of us didn't expect to see him still in the ring at the age of 30. He's got a manager I named Pat Lynch who's been as loyal and steadfast as any manager in boxing can be with Arturo Gatti. He's kept his career alive. Yes, but even with all of that, there's something unusually physically in this man for this man to take all of this. He's just one of those gifted guys like Yvonne Durrell. So you just run across guys like that sometimes. Another, yes. another Canadian. Another, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Absolutely. I thought that's why you were using Durrell <laughs> as the standard there. I thought it was a given. There's that right hand again. Ward chops away at Gaddy. Arturo hitting a little flat spot here. Mickey Ward 
starts to come on. Crowd gets back into it. Gaddy throwing a few change ups and then the high hard one. Again, left right combination landed flush. Ward bleeding heavily. And Gaddy was hurt by a left and a right. Is hurt. Yes. And this. We know that Mickey Ward can keep fighting through this kind of action. Ward landed yes. 42 out of 71 punches. We're not round. sure about Gaddy That's because right. he hasn't yeah. been in this kind of a war with as a strong a fighter as Ward before. That body shot again. That's the body shot. It's the left hook to the body. Ward's money punch, and this knockdown counts. And Six. he is hurt. This Seven. is it. It's, it's not going to recover. It's not like a head punch. He may not be able to recover. I don't think so. And, and Ward is going to go right back down there again. Right to the body again. He's still hurting from the body punch also still. In addition to the head. Arturo Gatti refusing to go down as Mickey Ward pounds away. In the past, this is where Arturo Gatti has been dangerous. But Ward should go back to the body again. Gatti risking another low blow penalty to try to get Ward off of him and lands another big shot. Burton, could Ward punch himself out for the time being with yes. that tremendous barrage in the first minute? Just look at this. Unbelievable. Can you believe there's still a minute and a half to go in the round? Gaddy blinking away the blood in his right eye. Can't see out of the right eye. Vicious body shots by Gaddy. Ward nods as if to say, come on, come on. Come on, let's fight. trying to get a break. Ward should go right back to the body. That, that's where he needs to go to the body. You know, you dream of fights, I guess, but the very seldom do they live up to the expectation. This is even more than you can dream of. Just imagine if you bought a ticket. Stop it, Frank. You can stop it any time. Arturo Gatti's out on his feet. Frank Capitino's going to let him keep going. Gatti doesn't even have the strength to tie Ward up. And, and Ward is tied. Ward and here comes Gatti back. Less than 10 seconds in the round. Gatti's going to survive the round. Should be the round of the century. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not gonna let you take this punishment. Okay? Now look at me. Look at me, Arturo. Tell me something. This guy is done. I know it's a tough fight, man. You got it in there. Okay. Come on, man. Oh, hold on, let go. Mickey Ward right, said right he would here, you see, Gaddy got hurt with the body shot, and that that's did more damage. Now he's coming back. Mickey Ward said he would retire if he loses this fight. From the way Gaddy went back to the corner. In, in most conditions, this fight would have been stopped right here. He may have more fighting left in him. Gentlemen, in round nine, by CompuBox numbers, this fight's going to be stopped. No, nope, it's not. No, no, no. Fight ain't over. Fight ain't over now. Last round. 
back in the corner. Go the way back. All the way back. I thought Buddy McGirt was going to stop it. Uh, no. After now having said go. to his fighter, he wouldn't let him take any more punishment. Now we're going to go. Round 10. In round 9, they landed 110 punches between them. And they were all power shots. Harold, what's your scorecard? Okay, Jim. 85-84. Mickey won. I think that it's pulled ahead with that shot that knocked that throw again. He down. He certainly won the eighth round. So I got Mickey won up by a point. Interestingly enough, this round is 30 seconds short because that timekeeper never stopped the damn clock at the beginning of the round. That's right. This round's only going to be about two and a half minutes. Which is good news for Gaddy. He's come out and asserted himself again at the beginning of the round. But does Gaddy have a full two minutes left in the tank? I'm pretty sure Ward does. looks hurt now, yeah. but he's he keeps coming. Ward has got it, but he's going to have to let it go because the clock is ticking. And it, at this point, Gaddy's winning around, and this may be the crucial round of the fight. I think Gaddy's having trouble seeing out of both eyes now, Emmanuel. Yes. But he doesn't have trouble firing away. Hard body shot by Gaddy. Knocks Ward back. Ward is exhausted. Daddy sees that and seems to have taken some yes, and he's fresh taken air action. from it. And he's winning his fight now. I am humbled by watching these two guys take the punishment they are taking. Well, we told you it might be a candidate for fight of the year. We didn't know it would be a candidate for fight of the century. This is the way it has to end. decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a majority decision. Judge Frank Lombardi scores the bout 94-94, a draw. Judge Richard Flaherty scores it 94, 93. Judge Steve Weisfeld sees it. 95, 93. All to the winner by majority decision.